Welcome back students. This is a small video. This is, I'm going over a slide, it's just three slides. But sometimes, a lot of times, I, I get questions from my uh, students that are working or students that are working on different projects. And one of the questions that I got was about the grep. Right, if you recall, I showed you guys how to identify when there's a letter and a column from chapter two, when there's a column that has numbers in it, but it could have a letter or letters in it or words in it and you're trying to identify which one it is. And then we updated it, right? We, we fixed it. But a lot of times the question is, you guys are dealing with data where in a column you might have um, you know, numbers and there's multiple rows that are messed up in that column, right? So the question is, how instead of going, we, in, the, in our lab we did it just one shot, we did it manually, but instead of doing it manually, is there an automatic way to do this? And absolutely there is. There's a concept called uh, replacing patterns, right? Replacing patterns. Now, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Let's take this code in this slide, in slide two, right here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and make this. Let me create a new script file. Right? So here, let me fix the quotes. And over here as well. Do this real fast. Okay. Delete the messed up quotes. All right, and there we have it. So I make a vector A, I make the vector B, I make a data, oops. Real quick, I have to call the data table. Remember, every time you use a, a third-party library, you got to call it in your memory. And now we're ready to go. Boom. All right, now if you look at the DT table right here, guys, okay, I have two columns, A and B. Column A has 4, 6, 23, and 56. Column B has 1, 6, 3, 1, 6, 234, and 56. You'll notice there's letters in each one of those rows, right? This is obviously an extreme example I'm doing, but nevertheless, you get, the, you get the gist. You have letters, all kinds of letters, in all kinds of positions, either after, before, in between, what have you. Let's say you needed to clean a column of the letters, or vice versa, you need to clean it for the numbers. You could always flip it as well. How do we do this? Well, right, there is a function that uh, that is um, uses the grep syntax, right? But slightly, but it's used for the purpose of substitutions. It's called G sub, the G standing for grep, G sub, sub for substitution, right? Now, this offers three parameters. Firstly, notice that this function is used in the column section not in the row section. When we use grep, we're using the grep functionality to filter rows based on what values are in the individual cells, right? G sub actually goes ahead and modifies the cell. Because it's modifying, modifying the cell column-wise, it goes in the column section. So remember, grep is in the row section, G sub is in the column section. So if we want to eliminate all the letters, and in this case, all our letters, if you recall, are lowercase, right? So the first parameter, first thing we're going to do is, here in, in this example, I created an A and B column. I'll, I'll create two new columns. I'll create a C and D column, just so you guys can see the differences side by side. So first parameter, guys, right? So here, I, I'm instead of doing A, uh, this obviously will overwrite A, this will overwrite B. I'm going to create a C and D just so you can see the differences. So again, colon equals, because remember, in data tables, it's not equals, it's always colon equals, and the G sub function. The parenthesis and the first parameter. Okay, the first parameter is what patterns you are searching for. Again, if I'm searching for any lowercase letter, I use the square bracket A dash Z. So any letter from A going all the way to Z. Done. Right? Done. It's going to look for any letters that are going from A to Z and replace them. All right? What do I want to replace them with? Here, I'm just going to put quote, quote, because I want them to be replaced by nothing. Not even a space in between. If you put a space in between, it'll be replaced by a space. You put a star in between, it'll be replaced by a star. 
Here I just put quote, quote, not in, nothing in between. This implies replace it with nothing. It's gone. And the third parameter is basically which column you are going, you're doing all this matching and substituting in. Obviously the A one and the B one. All right. So here, let me choose this to C. Just create an additional column. There we have it. I created a C column. And let me do the same thing with the B column. But this time I will write it in D. Done. Now if we go to the DT table, guys, notice look what happened. Right? Everywhere where there was a letter from A to Z, it got replaced with nothing. So A, I mean, 4X became 4, 6X became 6. 234 AAX became 234, ABC 56 became 56. It did not matter that it was before. Here, RTY1A, notice there's letters flanked to the right, I mean to the right and to the left of the number. It did not matter. Boom. Substitution went and grabbed it. Same thing with here. 6, 234, 56. This is basically the same one. And there you have it. A nice short video showing you how to use the G sub command. And a very powerful tool. Now, let's say, hypothetically, you had letters and you want to get rid of, you had letters and numbers in a column, but you want to get rid of all the numbers. Same concept, guys. Instead of doing, all right, and let's, let's just run this back. Let's run this back. Let's run both of them back, all right? E, F. Now instead of doing um, A to Z, let's do 1 to 9 and 1 to 9. Click the DT column. And now look what happened, guys. Right? Here I, I went kind of fast. But this time I replaced what we're searching for and substituting for. Now we're searching for all any numbers 1 through 9. And replacing it with nothing. So if you go back here to my DT table, now you see here, I got rid of the number, 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 and so on, so on, so on. Think about how in these websites and your companies, you have social security numbers you're downloading, you have phone numbers you're downloading, you have email addresses you're downloading, and they're a mess. How do we fix them? How do we identify them? G sub, right? And yes, I remember in the end of lab two, I showed you how to identify a, a URL address, www dot, you know, with the star and then a dot and then the brackets with the star, right? We can be more specific and get more nitty gritty in the patterns we're looking for, all right? So again, very powerful stuff, G sub. Hope you enjoyed the video, the short video, but I wanted to break down this uh, slide and video for you. It's basically just for your benefit in your respective jobs, internships, and projects you're working on. All right, have a good day, guys. I'll see you guys in the next Q&A session or video.